Welcome to the NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series Lucas Oil 150 qualifying here on speed. The base of the foothills here in Avondale, Arizona. That the next truck is about to roll out onto the racetrack and is moving down the back stretch now. This is a qualifying kid here, isn't it? He really is. I mean, he it's can, like, I don't know, 17 or 18 times he's qualified this year in the top 10 in our 23 start so far. And we're talking about this cat, yes. Colin Brown. That's right. Takes the green Conway Ford. Conway Freight Ford down into turn one. Let's see how low he runs. Go right on that yellow line and turns one and two. What does he do in three? Can he keep it down? Or will he elect to dime in the corner? Let it go up in the center. See it done both ways. And done well both ways. It's right down to the yellow line, not quite under it. Stays pretty low though. Yeah, look really like diamond it. Yeah, much. real low. That was a good looking corner for him. Colin Brown, lap number one, sixth quick of the eight have, that have been on the racetrack for qualifying. A 28.318, so he's going to have to pick up quite a bit. Yeah, it's been exactly 17, Russell told me, top 10 starts this year for Colin Brown in the 23 races. Good looking, good handling truck. He's not doing a whole lot of sawing on the wheel. Got his foot down. See if he can pick up some time on lap two. He does. Picks up a half a second, Phil. Yeah, great lap. 27.824. That will be fifth of the eight trucks that have qualified thus far. But that's a good lap. I mean, it's only fifth right now. But a, another tenth of a second would have gained him two more positions. Again, we talked about practice yesterday. Final practice. Ron Hornaday set the pace at 27.546. Again, that was in practice. It all comes down to two races. But it's all separated by just six points. Two drivers will battle it out starting tonight in Avondale, Arizona. Okay, Johnny's starting to flex his muscles a little bit. He's got some great trucks. He's racing with, ooh, look, oh, oh, look at Colin, Colin Brown. Six, he's going to go around. Into the wall goes Colin Brown. And that was contact with the 23 of Johnny Benson. And a caution comes out once again, the fourth one of the night. Colin was on the inside of Johnny. They were racing hard coming off turn number four. Colin got loose on the inside there, lost control of that Conway Ford, and unfortunately a lot of damage to that truck. Now, it wasn't that long ago that the caution came out on lap 62. Would we see anyone duck in and say, okay, now if I had any questions, I'm going to come onto pit road for my final time? I think absolutely, because not all these guys are getting good enough fuel mileage to have made it from that, from that last pit stop. I think we'll see a lot of guys come down pit road to make sure they have enough fuel, because you have to think about a green-white checkered. What? <laughs> see, watch this now. I know. You see, I, I Colin get gets loose off the too. corner, and then the 23 of Johnny Benson was right there. Johnny gave him plenty of room, but Colin just got loose on the inside. I think Richie Waters, I, th I think he might bring Kyle Busch down pit road. If it's time to pit. If you don't have enough gas to get to the finish, you better pit you now. You got to come. You got to come. Yes. You can decide later if we get a later caution to come again, but you have to come now to make sure you have enough fuel to get to the end. And maybe you just throw some gas in it. A little bit of fuel, top it off, and yeah. then head back out on the they only track. have about 10 green flag laps on these tires as you mentioned tj is going to want him four tires but the rest of these guys may come in just for a little a drop of fuel but pit road is open and kyle bush is staying on the racetrack along with most of the other trucks right now that are on the lead lap i bet you colin brown thought that he had gotten a little bit loose but i bet you he thought he could save it and the thing just it just hung there phil he, he, it, it, it just wouldn't quite get back up and up under him and and to put him on in the inside into the inside yeah, wall history is continuing to be made as adam just mentioned six coming in with two races three with one can history continue to be made and can ron hornaday be the first ever in the nascar craftsman truck series to repeat do back-to-back -back championships in the truck series that's never been done before yeah, and it's certainly possible i mean i tell you it's going to be a toss-up when we go down to the wire next week at homestead and like Adam said, it will be the last lap more than likely when we decide who's going to win that championship. And, and Ron Hornaday has proven at Atlanta and Texas as, as recently as last week that their mile and a half bank track program is on. So uh, if I'm Johnny Benson, I'm thinking I got my work cut out for me to hold on to that three point lead.